Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing some freezer cooking. So it has been a very long time since I have done this. I was pregnant. That's all the excuse that I have and I didn't feel like doing it so therefore I didn't do it. But I am going to try to get back into the routine of doing some freezer meals because let's face it y'all, it is a little bit of work up front but it really helps on those hairy nights and the bewitching hour that we all mamas know oh so well. Um, and especially the nights where we might have an activity or a sport or a ballet or whatever and it, we just need a quick meal. So I'm trying to plan ahead and get this done. Um, so today I'm going to be taking y'all along with doing that. So if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jessica. I am the mother to 11 children. We homeschool and I share vlogs here on my channel. So be sure to check those out. Um, we would appreciate it if you considered subscribing and join us along our journey. Um, but let's get to the freezer cooking. All right, so definitely real life kitchen action going on. We've got some real life messes because well, we live here and we eat in our kitchen, so <laughs> there's gonna be messes. So I shared um, previously a freezer cooking grocery haul. So this is kind of panning off of that. I showed you the food that I bought to do this. So go check that out if you haven't already. And then I'm gonna show you some of the meals that I'm making. Now, honestly, I'm pretty sure this is gonna take me more than one day to accomplish my grand list of things that I have written out and that's okay. Um, so I have already done a little bit of prep work before starting today. So as y'all saw in the grocery haul, I bought a lot, a lot of chicken and a lot, a lot of ground beef. <laughs> so two day, two, three days ago, I cooked four packs of chicken in the Instant Pot. That's the first time I've done that. And I really think it turned out well. And then I shredded it in the mixer and that turned out beautifully. So that is all here. So I made one meal that night whenever I prepared all the chicken. Um, so the rest is in here. So we are gonna be using that. And then I bought this huge pack of ground beef. When Nathan saw it, he was like, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> I was like, I told you I was gonna do some freezer cooking. Um, and that was just over six pounds of ground beef. And I have got that prepped here as well. So Nathan actually cooked up all the ground beef for me. Uh, I think it was actually two nights ago. I don't think it was last night. So we've got all the chicken, all the ground beef, and I have got a list of meals that I am hoping to make out. I obviously will have to make more meat and I will get there. But for now, I'm going to focus on um, just using this up today. So today, so this is my long list of meals that I want to do, but today we are just gonna do chicken tetrazzini. I'm gonna make two pans of that, um, and then a beef and bean casserole and beef shells. So two of, well, they're all technically new recipes. Um, so I actually had to go old school and hand write them out because our printer is not working. So hand wrote all these out. Um, I will link the recipes in the description box below too. And I already have waiting for us. <laughs> I've got some water boiling. So I'm gonna first start with a chicken tetrazzini. I'm doubling the recipe. Um, we, I have had turkey tetrazzini um, and I really liked it. I am not adding the traditional mushrooms or peas because I know that my family will not like it. I was even talking to Nathan about this recipe and told him, I was like, so normally there's mushrooms and peas in it. And he was like, please don't put that in there. So I am not putting that in there. Um, and then I actually most, Two of these recipes call for cream of chicken soup, and I make that myself, um, so I'm gonna show y'all how I do that as well. So we're, gotta get the pasta in and get the cream of chicken going. Okay, so I was looking over my recipe for the chicken tetrazzini, and it's like seriously so easy. It's just basically noodles, chicken, and like a cream sauce. Um, again, I'm not adding the vegetables. I thought about adding mixed vegetables to it, but that would be a lot like my <laughs> chicken noodle casserole though, so I think I'm just gonna leave it without vegetables and we'll just um have like broccoli on the side or something um so i'm gonna get the pasta in where are you Ooh, that's hot um chicken or not yeah chicken then it sound good i think this one so i'm trying to decide on which one to actually do for dinner tonight out of these three casseroles that i'm making and then um uh, huh? for dinner? well this is part of the tetrazzini it's a chicken cream sauce and noodles. Why do you break the noodles? Uh, so that they're just in half and they also fit in the pot better. So, let that get cooking. I, I don't know if I can fit both boxes in there. I might just do two batches. Do two batches of the pasta. All right, so while the pasta's cooking, I'm going to start my cream of chicken soup. Um, it is seriously so easy. I have tried many 
recipes over the years of um, one of that was like a mix with dry milk. Um, but this is the easiest and I just feel like the, the best tasting so far. So melt some butter to just do like equivalent of one can of cream of chicken soup. You just need about that much of butter. You'll like my measurements. Just over two tablespoons, not quite half a stick. Um, to do just like one can, but I'm doing a lot here. So we're gonna melt. This is almost a full stick of butter. Almost. Yeah, almost. We we don't measure around here. It'll be good. So we're gonna get that melted. All right. Seriously, if y'all don't make your own cream of chicken soup, you need to. Okay. <laughs> it is so easy. It's healthier and so much cheaper. And honestly, the price is what got me starting to do it. Um, first of all. More so than, the, I mean, the health was a part of it as well, but um, it doesn't have, you know, added stuff in it. And honestly, it tastes so much better. In a pinch, I have bought um, canned cream of chicken soup to use because, you know, I was busy and I didn't want to stop and make this, which is just silly because it really doesn't take that much time. Um, but my kids are like, please don't buy that stuff anymore. I need to get a measuring cup because it just doesn't taste as good. Um, this is a thinner consistency than like what you're used to out of the cream of chicken. Um, if you let it sit longer, maybe it would thicken up longer. I'm not that patient. So anyways, so I've got my melted butter. I turned the heat off because you don't want it to get too um, golden. I don't know the word. <laughs> you don't want it to cook too much. So I take it off the heat whenever I add the flour. I need to get a fork as well. Um, but again, not precise measurements, but it just tastes better. So that's what I was gonna say. Cream of chicken soup is like $1.25 a can. And if you're doubling recipes or tripling or quadrupling them, I mean, that's over $5 right there just in cream of chicken soup. And well, I got a lot of people to feed, so I gotta stretch my money. So that's why I started doing this. And then again, it's healthier. So we will move on. <laughs> I can stop rambling about that. I think the noodles are almost done too. Noodles have just a little longer to go. Okay, so obviously my surface is still very warm because I've got this burner going on too. But normally I move it to the side. Well, I just don't have a ton of room. So, all right, I'm adding some flour. So I'm just holding it up off the heat. Basically just making a roux, get that all stirred in. I just kind of judge it by the consistency if I need to add more flour or not. And I know that I will definitely need to add more flour. Um. Like we're probably at, I don't know, a quarter cup of flour right now. Go ahead and add some more. I think I hear the baby, I think he's awake. All right, I'm gonna have to stop this and bring this pasta. That's one thing that I actually can't stand is <laughs> overcooked pasta. Like I like it just al dente. Okay, so that's the consistency that I'm looking for, is thicker. Um, obviously, there's still a little bit of liquid in there, so I could, you know, try to make this a little bit thicker if I wanted to. All right, I'm going to drain this pasta, let this sit here. All right, so I got the pasta drained. I'm starting another pot for the other package of pasta. I didn't want to cook them all together because I just didn't feel like it. Okay, all right, so I'm going to finish up this cream of chicken soup. So now I have already prepared chicken broth. Okay, now this is just that better than bouillon chicken broth. Add this to the roux and just stir it all in. Um, it is helpful at this point to add it to some heat. Um, so get this going. Um, and again, I just judge it based off the consistency that I want. And like, if you're boiling chicken, like I did this the other night, whenever I cooked all that chicken, I took the chicken broth out of the Instapot and used that instead of doing better than bouillon. Um, because that's just ch chicken stock sitting right there. Yes, I did. So get this all stirred. Okay, sometimes it's a little liquidy. Um, and that's just when the heat helps thicken it up. So this will sit here for a little bit until it thickens. All right, so here it is, it thickened up really good. Now I'm just gonna add some more broth and just keep going um, until I've got it the way that I want it. And that is that is it. Um, like I said, fairly easy and cheaper 
and help her. All right, so now I got a cute little kitchen helper. <laughs> you hope it's. I want your mitts on. Yep, he wanted oven mitts on because it's a little hot. <laughs> so stirring. So we got the next set of pasta. Um, here is the cream of chicken. So it doesn't normally take this long, like if you just do a smaller batch. But again, I was doing more um, because I need more for doubling this recipe and stuff. So, but this is the consistency. Pretty close to the can. It is more runny than the can, but I promise you it tastes a whole lot better. Like I just can't go back to the other stuff anymore. So we're gonna finish up cooking this pasta and then we will get all the casserole ingredients together. You gonna say and help me? Probably. Okay. Most likely not. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> all right, so we got all the pasta done. Like I said, I had already pre-cooked the chicken. So it calls for four chicken breasts cooked and shredded. So I'm going to do five cups of shredded chicken. Um, I should probably get a bigger spoon or use my hand. This is gonna take forever. So I'm gonna do five cups of shredded chicken because usually whenever I cook it and dish it out, it's usually about three cups. Maybe I should do six cups. I don't know. Well, if I did five, that would save some chicken. <laughs> we gotta stretch every dollar. <laughs> so this is going on four cups of chicken. So I'm just adding it to the two things um, of linguine that's cooked. All right, so, and obviously if I think more chicken needs to be added. We can always add more. All right, so got the chicken in there. Set the chicken to the side. So we'll have plenty of chicken left over. I'm um, gonna add the cream of chicken soup. And one thing that I've learned, like I can just always add more if I don't think that this is enough um, consistency. So the recipe literally says just to dump all the remaining ingredients into the bowl. So that's what we're gonna do. I do have some onions um, cooking over there for the recipe that we're gonna start right after this. So all we have to do is um, mix this up and put it in pans and then it just bakes. Like that's literally it. kind of a pretty easy recipe. So it calls for one cup of sour cream per recipe, but I'm doubling this so I get two pans out of it. One can we're gonna have tonight and then the other will go in the freezer. Um, so it calls for a half cup of chicken broth. So that actually was a half cup. I need to double that. I need to go get some more. All right, got more chicken broth. <laughs> That's one thing when you're doubling the recipe, you need to make sure that you're doubling all the ingredients. <laughs> all right, so salt and pepper, all that in there. Um, it does call, call for some cheese, but I'm gonna start mixing this. I got my big mamma jamma bowl here. <laughs> it's so heavy. All right, so gonna get this all mixed up. glass was half empty but you came along and showed me how to love all right there we go one for now one for later so i put the later to go in the freezer and a foil pan so that will be easier i don't have a lot of 13 by 9 pans. i think i have three maybe four i don't know baby um so this will be for tonight and that one will be for the freezer Okay, so fun fact, I'm not very strong. Um, in fact, my wrists are actually really weak. So dumping all that food in the pan was quite challenging for me, but I got it done with not too bad of a mess. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the second recipe that we are going to do. I think I might actually stop here today because I know the baby's gonna need me soon, um, which is good. So if I get these four meals done, that will be good enough and I'll pick up um, later. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, go get a baggie for me so I can put that up. So the next recipe is called beef shells. Actually on Pinterest, it had a different recipe name and I don't remember what it was, so, but I will link it in the description box below. Basically it's kind of like a hamburger helper type meal, um, except obviously homemade, no, a small bag, a small one. Um, thank you. So growing up, I hated it when my mom would make hamburger helper. Mom, you know it's true. <laughs> like I could not stand it. When we got married, Nathan loved hamburger helper and I'm like, and in fact, he will still, I never make it, never. In the, how many years have we been married? Almost 19 years of marriage, I have never made it. And he will still sometimes buy it and it drives me nuts. Anyway, so I know you will like this meal. Um, it's very, very similar to, like I said, a hamburger type, hamburger helper type meal. So I've got about two pounds of ground beef. I just totally guessed. 
Um, I knew that that was six pounds cooked, so I tried to take a good portion of it. <laughs> um, and while I was working on the chicken tetrazzini, I was browning an onion in here. So now I'm just warming the beef on the stove just so it maneuvers better. I probably should have warmed the chicken a little bit because it was kind of clumpy, um, stuck together. Thank you, baby. We put that in the fridge. All right, and then I'm getting another pot of water ready for my shell macaroni. Um, so I'm gonna make two of these and both of these will go in the freezer for um, one day next week, so. All right, in true Jessica fashion, I already messed up this recipe. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. I added the meat and I didn't know, um, but we're just going with it. They wanted to make the sauce separate, but we, we're just gonna go with it here, okay? So I have here, um, I'm adding some flour and beef stock to the meat mixture. Let me scrape this out and then I'll change the camera so that y'all can see. <laughs> y'all can see a little bit better. Okay, so I got the pasta going. So this is with shell pasta. Um, so again, I'm doubling this recipe. So all the measurements that I'm doing is doubled. So like I said, I was supposed to make a sauce first then add the meat. I think it'll be fine. Um, so I've got the meat, onion, some flour, two cups of beef, beef stock. Then you add some marinara sauce. I'm just using what I have on hand. Just pasta sauce. See if I can open this. Uh, nope, I can't. <laughs> Trying to open it over here. <laughs> All right, anybody else have to do this? Just me I'm telling y'all my wrist my wrists are so weak, but it works. There we go. There we go. Mama's got it. All right. All right, adding all the sauce to the meat mixture. So it called for 15 ounces. I have a jar. This is 32 ounces. So that is perfect because, again, doubling it. I'm going to get all this added in. I think Nathan's actually really going to like this. It does have sour cream in it. Don't tell him. <laughs> so does the chicken tetrazzini. He's going to know that has sour cream in it. He does not like sour cream. He will eat it in some things now, but when we were first married, he would not, and I would have to like hide it. <laughs> um, I made something the other night. I can't remember what it was. Oh, the Dorito chicken. He's like, yeah, there's too much sour cream in there for me. Um, but, okay, so now I need to add all the seasonings. So I've got garlic, Italian seasoning, and paprika in here. So get all that stirred in. Um, but no, and he doesn't like mayonnaise either, so I can't cook anything with mayonnaise in it, which there's not like a ton of recipes with mayonnaise in it, but um, sour cream he can at least tolerate. And this one will be kind of hidden, so he probably won't even know. So nobody tell him. <laughs> and just get this all stirred in. So again, the recipe said to cook this differently. I messed up. <laughs> it's okay. I don't think it really will make that big of a difference. Um, it does mention to like stir all this together on the stove, but so it's a lot of food. And I need my, gosh, I can't even lift this. I need my big mama jamma bowl again. <laughs> so two boxes of pasta, double the sauce. This does have a lot of meat in it. I probably could have gotten away with less. Um, Nathan will like that. Taylor and myself won't. We don't like a lot of meat, um, but that's okay. So this smells really good. Okay, so then it says to add a half a cup of sour cream. That all added in. Don't tell Nathan. And then three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. All right. Maybe we should have this for dinner tonight instead of the other one. So the kids have been coming in one at a, one at a time again. Mom, what's for dinner? Mom, what's for dinner? Um, we haven't had tetrazzini before. So funny whenever I'm talking I feel like I need to be looking at the camera and not y'all just seeing what I'm doing but I'm trying here so anyways but the kids are coming in one at a time asking what's for dinner what's for dinner okay and we haven't had tetrazzini before and so I'm telling them chicken tetrazzini and they're kind of like oh what 
Anyways, but my first response, whatever they said, I was like, well, I'm making three different recipes and y'all can just choose which one you want to bake tonight. So I still can do that. Um, and then I could actually leave out the tetrazzini that's in the glass dish, leave that in the fridge and we can do that tomorrow. I think that's pretty smart thinking right there. <laughs> um, so tomorrow I actually have a doctor's appointment for Camden. Um, he is our five month old and he is having another ultrasound done um, on his kidneys. Oh, so it's like, I don't know. It's just a lot being a mom and taking care of all these things. And some days, well, it just takes a lot out of me and cooking dinner is just, some days it's harder than others. So maybe that would be a good day tomorrow is to do that. Um, i trying to think of what we have next week. It might be better to wait for next week. Actually, tomorrow, the boys, um, Jackson and Logan, have their flag football tournament. So, you know what? It will be good to have a meal tomorrow because of that. I was thinking of our day. So, maybe I should just add all this cheese. I'm adding in shredded cheese now. Sorry, I'm not, like, talking about the recipe. I'm talking about my life. I'm used to vlogging and talking about my life. So, I'm adding in the shredded cheese. Um, I think I'm just going to add it all. So, it called for a cup and a half per recipe. So, it's three cups. Um, we're just going to go with it. That really still doesn't even look like enough cheese, does it? So, honestly, I think this is going to be pretty good. So, this is what is known as fancy spaghetti in my house. <laughs> Nathan always gives me a hard time that spaghetti is like a cop-out meal. He's totally just like messing with me. Because um, like you cooked without having to do a lot. I disagree. I love spaghetti. But how many variations of spaghetti can we get? <laughs> Uh, lasagna is like spaghetti, so Nathan says. Anyways, okay. So we got all this mixed up, and then we're going to put these in some foil pans as well. Oh, but as I was saying, the boys have their flag football tournament. So Jackson already had one game, and he won. This is shouldn't be about football. This just should be about food. But I got to tell you all this. I was so proud of him. Um, he, Jackson, caught the winning one point so they scored a touchdown the game was tied um the game was almost over and Jackson caught the extra point had he missed it it still would have been tied um and I guess it would have went into overtime or something I'm not really a very good football mom but I'm learning so um so now he's going to the second step of the tournament um and then Logan has his first tournament game tomorrow night both at the same time y'all I'm like, and Nathan is such a proud dad. He's going to be like bouncing from field to field. I will too. Nathan's obviously much more into football than I am, but okay. So I'm going to go get foil pans. Stop talking about football, but it will be good to have one of those meals tomorrow night. <gasps> is the bow buds awake? Are you awake? Are you ready for your mama? Are you ready for your mama? <laughs> All right. Will you stop with that? You are so funny. Okay, so I just got to get this in the pans, and then I can take the baby. This will be all to cook in today. Why don't you smile pretty for the camera? There we go. Oh, so will you stop? All right, let's get these in the pans. All right, so one maybe for now, one maybe for later. I don't know what we'll do for dinner. I'm just going to let them decide. And then, like I said, I'll save one for tomorrow and then the rest will go in the freezer. All right, I'm gonna get these covered up in foil. So I got four dinners done and I don't know what time I started. Maybe I've been in here for about an hour. Um, but, is the baby awake? Obviously that's got two things. Yeah, all for dinner. Not all of them. I've got to focus on him. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Which one do you want? Do you want the chicken tetrazzini noodles or do you want the cheesy beef noodles? Uh, you like the chicken tetrazzini? Okay. We will have to take a vote. So beef shell. Beef shell, obviously. It's the same one as this one. Oh. I need to, I'll double layer these with foil when they go in the um, freezer. But for now, so this one is double layered. Um, chicken, petrosini. I need to write the directions on it too, but I need to find the first. All right, so good enough for day one. Gotta go get my baby. <laughs> um, and hopefully I will find some time tomorrow in between appointments and football games and we will do a few more meals. I've got, how many more on my list to do? Yes, baby. 
I have one, two, three, three left that I'm doubling. Um, recipes left on my list that I want to get. Oh yeah? Okay, so it is a few days later. I'm gonna continue my freezer cooking journey. Sorry, the lighting's awful, but this thing's like above me and that's all I got, okay? So, um, so I am going to attempt to make two more meals doubled today. If I have time, I'll get to more. Um, just this is kind of how I have to do things in batches as I have the time because, well, I've got a bunch of little kids. Um, so the baby's happy right now, so I'm gonna see what I can get accomplished. Um, Drew and Kinley are down for their nap as well, so a little less interruption. So I'm chopping up some broccoli right now. I'm actually going to make a recipe tonight for dinner and then one for the freezer and then two um, lasagna roll meals for the freezer, okay? So tonight what I'm making is, it's called lattice top chicken. So I was searching, perusing Pinterest, you know, for some freezer cooking inspiration. <laughs> And one of the meals reminded me of this meal that I used to make a lot that we actually got from a friend. And Nathan had really liked it. Um, so that's what I'm going to make to leave for them tonight for dinner because I'm actually not gonna be here. I talked about this in a vlog, so I'm kind of repeating myself, but I'm not gonna be here tonight for dinner. Um, I'm going to hang out with some friends from church at a mom's small group, which will be that time is much needed for all mamas out there. <laughs> um, so I wanna obviously leave dinner for the family, so. Nathan doesn't have to worry about, you know, doing that. So, like I said, I'm gonna have one for tonight and then one for the freezer. So this recipe, I'm actually gonna kind of adapt. Um, whenever I made this in the past, Nathan likes things with rice. So if I make chili, he likes white rice on the side. And he always liked rice with this meal. So I'm actually just gonna put rice in it. Um, oh, there's the baby. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna put rice in the mixture it's all will go in a pan, um, kind of like, I mean, it's a casserole type dish. So, let me go check on the baby, finish chopping this broccoli, and I'll be back at you. All right, so Reagan's helping me chop some broccoli. So this is two bags of frozen broccoli that I just steamed in the microwave, and we are chopping it all up just so that it's not big clumps. You wanna show the tool? So this is, um, oh goodness, I forgot what it's called. It's from Paper Chef. It's like a scissor type chopper, and I love using it for broccoli. You want to let Logan have it? Chop it. Chop it. Chop it. Chop. 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 Get that one. 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 Get that it's hot. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to, it's all chopped up. All right, step back a little because this is going to be hot. I'm going to add some rice. So we've got, like I said, two bags of broccoli. I'm adding, oh, you okay? Did I touch you? Okay, sorry. Um, this is two cups of cooked jasmine rice. If I don't drop the pot in the pan or the pot in the bowl. Logan, there's All right, hang on, Logan. So we're going to mix all that up. Let me get the rest of the rice in there. Watch your hand, baby. This is hot. All right, if you want to start mixing those two together. I want to. Y'all can take turns. Okay. You need a mitten? Okay, hang on. You can just let the steam go down some. You want to let the steam go down some? All right, so I'm also going to add, I have homemade cream of chicken soup. Mix all that together. No, not really. You don't want to mix it? Well, it's gonna you want look me to do gross. it? Huh? It doesn't look gross. Here. Scoop from like, like go all the way down to the bottom and kind of like fold it up. It'll help. Okay. You want to do it? Get from the bottom and like fold it and it. Yeah, sure. Get up here. that. Okay, so now we're gonna add four cups of chicken. Again, I'm doubling this. All right. Um, can I um, pour oh, it in? Yeah. Oh, be careful. Can I pour Thank that? You. Yeah. Um, like, it would get it. Good. The breaking does it look good. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm not done. Is that what the meat's for? Yeah. All right, so you can pour that in. That's a lot. Yeah. 
Yep, that's all the chicken that we have there. It's just four cups. All right, then I can use this chicken. So look, I still have a good bit of chicken that we will use for another recipe. We're making that chicken stretch. Can I taste test? In a minute. My little helpers left to go play, but I made some more cream of chicken soup um, because this wasn't enough, which is fine. Um, so I have the rest of this, and then I don't know. It probably needs new batteries. Oh, it only needs new batteries. Yep. Where's the back to it? All right. So get this all mixed in. Um. And then it calls for two cups of shredded cheese. Good job. Can I throw Yeah. So I got a new helper. So Miley's here. And so it also calls for two cups of milk. All right, pouring the milk. And then I'm going to add a good bit of seasoning because it's a lot, a lot of food Are we going to do these? So I'm using that Kinder's um, garlic and herb. It Mom, can I good. do these? Um, that's for a different recipe. We'll do that in a little bit. We get this all mixed in and then we'll add the cheese. Can I add the cheese? No one. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. When you took my hands and left. Miley had a great idea. What'd you say? Give this to one of our friends. Yep, our friend just had a baby yesterday. Yep, we will definitely bring them a meal. We should bring this meal. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. This would be a good meal to bring them. So our friends just had their tenth baby. So I know a meal would definitely bless them. They're trying to catch up. <laughs> They're trying to catch up to us. Them says me one more, then them catch up. Yeah. Meal talk about Okay, so we got two pans out of that. And so the kids keep asking me if this is broccoli rice and cheese casserole. So it's very similar to what I make, but I obviously add a chicken and then we're gonna do what's called, that's what makes the, the lattice top chicken, is put crescent rolls on top and bake it. We should give one to Kelly. <laughs> we should give one to Kelly because her son had a baby. Yeah. Baked mm. test bite. Yep. Is it good? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna write lattice top chicken on the top of this one. And this is for the freezer. I did not put the crescent rolls on top of this one. What are you doing? I'm doing <laughs> um, I figured I would just do it when we bake it, just so that they don't get soggy. I don't know if it would get soggy or not, but there we go, lattice top chicken. That'll be a yummy dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to show you the um, topping for the lattice top chicken. So I just have crescent rolls here. The recipe says to like mesh the crescent roll squares together and like cut it in a fancy design and all of that jazz, which if you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. If you have time for that, patience, all that jazz. <laughs> I don't. I just place it all on top um, and it bakes up just fine. So I kind of do my own thing <laughs> go figure but you just need one can of crescent rolls per casserole and I take the next one and kind of like crisscross it some so I don't know like you can do it in all different ways maybe I'll do it like this so you can get as fancy as you want but this is all that I do. And then it bakes for about 30 minutes on 375. I don't know. So just single layer as much as possible, but it's nice to like cover the whole top with it because, um, well, with each scoop, you get some crescent roll. <laughs> Hold in some muscles. You got it? Huh? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Did he? Like, I heard like, um, like a... All right, so moving on to the next recipe, we are going to be making lasagna roll-ups. So, yeah. 
My family has recently started deciding to like lasagna. And by lasagna, I mean Stouffer's frozen lasagna. I made it years ago, a very long time ago, and it turned out awful. I'm just being honest. <laughs> um, I, again, this was probably 10 years ago. Anyway, so I never made it again. I made it a few years ago, and nobody was like super crazy about it. But I don't know what happened. I was pregnant with Camden. And I didn't feel like cooking, so I bought a frozen Stouffer's lasagna and was like, y'all just got to deal with it. Well, everybody liked it. And so it's kind of become a thing. So I, I thought for doing the fruit, you, you do like it. No, um, Harper's over here chopping the parsley for me. So um, whenever I was looking up, you know, what freezer meals to do and stuff, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try these lasagna roll-ups. Um, and hopefully everybody likes it. I'm sure that they will because they now like lasagna. Now so that's my lasagna melts. story. That's what <laughs> All right, so we're going to make the cheese... And the cheesy part right now. Um, we're gonna put it in this bowl right here. So, okay, can I pour it in there? Yep. You wanna scrape it out with a spoon? <laughs> Gotta put it No, I need to move it closer to you. Whoa. There we go. So that's 32 <laughs> ounces of ricotta. Oh, my sauce is popping over here. Let me take that off the heat. Huh? Okay, so, oh, be careful. Okay, so Let's I need ice cream. It looks like ice cream. I needed two um, 15 ounce things of ricotta. So I just did the one big 32 ounce. All right, so I'm going to that on down. Harper's still over there chopping the parsley for me. All right, so. Looks like what? spoon here. Ah! Yep. Oh, be careful. All right. So now we're going to add two eggs. Two eggs is so small. And mm -hmm. one tiny. Ew, I don't like eggs. Mom, I don't like eggs. I don't like eggs. Mm -hmm. That's gross. They're not gross. All right. Gotta wash my hands. I don't like eating eggs. right there. I think we need to get some scissors. <laughs> now the question is, where are the scissors? I found the scissors. Mm. I found the scissors. <clears throat> oh, baby, you okay? Yeah, I have a chair. Okay. Alright, so we got that open. So I sprung anyway. for the fancy stuff and not the green can. Alright, so, um, yeah, put all of that in there. Okay. So that is a lot of cheese. That's so many. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, now we can need... Can I stir it? Yep, you can start stirring that. Oh, be careful. All right, now I need about three cups of mozzarella. What's that? One. <laughs> two. Is that funny? Three. That's a lot. Right, Harper's my stirrer. You're doing a good job. All right, so Harper's been working on chopping this parsley. So we're gonna add this. So this is actually parsley from our garden. My garden? Um, from the garden outside. All right, I'm gonna rinse off my hands again. Was it from my garden or yours? Um, it's from the tower thing that Daddy got me for Christmas. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm starting to oops. Yeah, you're starting to oops. <laughs> See, that's okay. <laughs> you like stirring? Yeah. All right, let's get this all mixed up, okay? Yeah. yeah. All right, so I got my assembly line here. We're going to add sauce to the bottom of these pans. You don't like sauce. Hmm? You don't like sauce. You don't like sauce. Yeah. You like sauce. No, I don't like that sauce. Why? Because it looks gross. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's just spaghetti sauce. Why are always staring at weird Oh, you can't see it. Then I just shake my head. Yeah. Why don't we put this in? In just a minute. After I line these two pans with sauce, Oops. we will put that inside the noodles and roll them up. Noodles? I don't like noodles. You don't like noodles either? Wait, is noodles like 
when we twist the fork? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what and, we're going to do here. So, and that's not our bubble guppies. There's like, is that the little lines? Um, somewhere. Okay, so let me get another big. And that of this. Is oh, it maybe this one. Okay, is so, it the lines of this? Yeah, this is lasagna noodles, okay? And then we have our cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take the lasagna noodles, which have probably already gotten too hard. <laughs> yeah, can I do, get it then? Huh? Can I get this then? Yep. So, <laughs> place a dollop of the cheese <laughs> on here. <laughs> yep, all right, good job. <laughs> Okay, so we're trying to get a little bit of a better system. Harper is really wanting to help. All right, so let me put the sauce on the noodles first, and then you can add the cheese, okay? Okay. So I just laid some lasagna noodles out. On is there peppers in there? No. On a cookie sheet, and then put the sauce in each noodle, <laughs> and then the cheese, and then you roll it up, and then you put it on top top of the sauce laid out on the pan. <laughs> yeah. So you put that on top of the sauce. Let me finish. <laughs> okay. So as you can imagine, I'm doing this with lots of little helpers. <laughs> lots of cute helpers, huh? <laughs> and so that takes extra time, <laughs> distractions, <laughs> messes, but it's all fun and yeah. learning, huh? Yep. Now. Let's get another spoon so we can help scrape it off. So I remember my mom making lasagna whenever I was a little girl. And she would always let me eat the broken noodles. <laughs> and that was my favorite part. I don't like broken noodles. You don't like broken noodles? You don't want to eat my broken noodles? Hmm? No, I will eat it for dinner, but I will just go. Ew, just got stuff on me. It, it's just sauce from you touching the sauce with that spoon. It's okay. It's a lot. It's okay. I'm doing a good job. All the time, I like helping. Yep. Don't! Yep, that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> it's okay. I'll spread it out. Don't worry. I'll spread it. No, thank you. <laughs> that one's going to be nice and cheesy. We'll put some. This one will be cheesy too. Yep. All right. So now we'll roll these up. <laughs> this one's good when it's left, left <laughs> in the sauce. Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was rather, rather messy. But Harper and I had a good time. I didn't film just because I was spending time with her and we were just having fun putting it all together. It was very, very messy, but we got one pan done here and another pan done over here. I did have to break open another sauce jar um, to top it off because I did not have enough. I had to double the recipe, but it just wasn't enough. All right, so got these all covered. I'm gonna get them labeled. Addy is begging to have this for dinner tonight. It's like they have a new love for lasagna. It just cracks me up. It did look pretty good. Again, rather messy. Um, might just be easier to make regular old lasagna. <laughs> but we will try it and see. Maybe next time I'll make regular lasagna. So here's the meals that we got done today. Um, total of four. One of them is set aside for dinner tonight. A child was curious of what this was and it opened up my foil that I have done. <laughs> I have a lot of nosy children in this house. All right, so the least favorite part, all oh, the cleanup needs to happen now. <laughs> but I do actually still have a good bit of ground beef left and a good bit of chicken left. So I'm gonna actually make those um, cilantro lime taquitos that I make with this chicken either tomorrow or another night. But I'm gonna bag all this up, put it in the fridge, and then I've got the meat already done for other meals. I didn't show a lot of the filming of the lasagna roll-ups because Harper was wanting to help and I just wanted to spend that time with her. and. Like I said, it was rather messy. It was fun, but it was messy. So I was also hoping to make a Mexican casserole with that leftover ground beef that I showed you, but I just don't have the time today and that is fine. Camden's awake, so I wanna get as much cleaned up as I can and then obviously I'm going to go get him. But out of these two cooking days that I did, I got a total of eight meals. One, two, three, four of them 
or in the freezer, right? Am I right? So counting tonight, we would have eaten three of them. But knowing that those four meals are in the freezer will be helpful for about the next month. I'm thinking I'll just pull out one a week on those busy days that we have, and that will be super helpful. So let me know if you guys like this type of video. I haven't done something like this before. Um, it was a lot of fun to do, and well, it was very beneficial because now I have some freezer meals in my freezer for those busy days that all of us mamas have. Um, I do plan on making some freezer breakfast for us to have as well. So let me know if y'all would like to see that in a video. I was, I kind of really hope to do all of this in one swoop in one day, but busy mom life, I kind of have to do what I can in nap time. And well, this is how I had to do it this time. So that is okay. So thanks so much for hanging out with us and doing all these freezer meals and we'll see y'all in the next video.